You know, if you begin with the end in mind, what, what do we want out of life? I think as Muslims, we're confused. We don't know what we want out of life. Don't give me all that life is ibad. We know that. Don't take us. Don't take a, a beautiful statement from the Quran and make it cliche, and empty out its meaning. That's not correct. You know what I'm saying? We know the purpose. You know, some people say the purpose of life is only to get the gender. No, that's not true. That's shying away from the responsibility that we have, and that's why I've become so harsh on some of these aqidah discourses, because they're not about empowering the human being. They're about getting us to debate about who Allah is, and it's not that complicated. You know, from the angle of the Quran is clear on, on a lot of fundamentals. And I mentioned that before. Just look at Surah Al-Ikhlas by itself. Surah Al-Fatiha. If those things are understood. Imam Ibn Al-Qayyim wrote books, volumes on just Ya can Abud wa Ya can Astain. Volumes on it. Just one ayah of the Quran. Imam Shafi said, if the only thing to be revealed were Surah Al-Asr, it will be enough sufficient for you that it would be a minhaj in other words a guidance and so you know the reality really is not all of the detail and the technical stuff we need scholarship in that but it is really what do we agree to what is the vision that we want change your conversation let it flow in another direction begin to act like a person that belongs to an ummah begin to act like you have impact on history like you have like your your life counts your word counts Throw it, out, throw it out there in the atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? And, and share it with other people. You know, and, and change the, the culture on here. Change the culture on here. If you change the culture on here, if you identify things that you want to build and want to do, it's a possibility that other people may agree with you and other people may go in the same direction with you. Or other people may argue with you. You may have to block people. But the reality is that I believe that it's much more greater that other people will run with you. Than what you believe If we as a community began to envision Trust me a lot of people listen Good and bad people listen A lot of people listen And they take ideas You'll be surprised who's listening You know, You'll be surprised who's listening And so What Is the obligation of the moment What should we be working on Somebody please Type in my Chat box. One thing that you think is the obligation of the movement. Right? What should be our priorities? What should we be focusing on? What can we do to impact the next 25 years? You know, how can we take a hold of the moment to be effective so we have an impact the next 25 years? What is our vision? What should be our vision? Don't be greedy with your time. Give me some sadaqah, some zakat. Answer those questions or one of those questions for me. You know, and bring other people into that circle of thinking. Right? Instead of just thinking the world's going to fall apart, think about, okay, what is my role to rebuild? Or, you know, how can I be in a how can I position myself to make a move to be a, of assistance? Don't give me the whole thing that the dajjal is coming. Or the end of the world is here because you see that, you know, look, that type of thinking is not really Islamic. We know all of those things, but that's what the knowledge of Allah Taala. The question is, what are we going to do at the moment to impact the future? We're still going to have to live in the moment to impact the future with all the challenges. Waiting for your answers. Assalamu alaikum.